Hi guys and welcome back to my Rugby League Live 3 Beat A Pro Career. Now episode 16. If you've seen the last one, you'll know we ended up with a fractured wrist. Yeah. Very well done. But uh, yeah, out for 54 days, which puts us about round 19. Yeah, so six or seven more rounds left. Not too many games for me to prove myself. I'm not too sure if I'll stay in the, um, get a job or contract, sorry, with an NRL club this late. Like, um, just coming back into the season this late, so, yeah, definitely going to be a, a rough couple of games coming up for me to prove myself. And, um, yeah, just trying to get back into the swing of things. I've made a good run there and always seem to notice that the... Just uh, the defender there on the outside of the play the ball never really stays in position, always seems to move step aside. So it always leaves an open gap for me to run through there as our uh, winger, I believe, puts in a nice kick down here, trying to trap him in the in goal and, you know, no real support helping me with the tackle. So I have to do it all on my own, as per usual, with this sort of game. Yeah, just uh, AI defense is shocking. As uh, these tackles, three tackles in a row, actually force them back into the in goal. And nice dart from dummy half here, showing my strength with a step and a fall over the line with two people on me back. So, not the prettiest try I've ever seen by any means. But uh, yeah, four points is still four points, and good to get a try first game back after fracturing my wrist. But yes, um, seems as though fitness plays a big part in being injured. So if you run your player ragged or he's doing too much and you see the fitness bar there, the blue and white part, if that uh, drops down too low and you continuously do more and more and put more strain on the player, then yeah, of course you're going to get injured. And me being the dipshit I am didn't realise that. I just thought it was, you know, something that happened in the game. So... Yeah, good job by me, I'd say. Yeah, dummy half chooses to go the opposite way to us. As every time, when you see me in a video standing here with my character, I'm always calling for the ball. And um, here you see my shitty rating. Uh, I lose a fair bit of stat points being out for, you know, 50 days at a time with injury, usually. So, yeah, my rating should be a fair bit higher than it actually is. I would hope to be mid 70s maybe or low 70s but uh, with all the injuries I've had yeah it's um yeah being a rough ride as our teammate decides to hold on to the ball there even though I was in open space and he could easily offload the ball not like his hands were wrapped up no uh, yeah me playing the big fullback role there always dropping back for kicks trying to get me points up and you know, prove to the coach I'm actually worth something. <laughs> Which uh, seems a bit redundant. Not redundant, pointless. At this point, uh, I think I'll just have to deal with whatever they give me. Maybe New South Wales Cup? If I'm lucky. Or a Q Cup team? Maybe. More than likely, I'm going to have to head overseas to, um, you know, the Kingston championship or whatever it is just below the Super League there there's a zigzagging run there gains a few extra meters just past our 40 and yeah still in the lead 6-0 surprisingly so my try's been the only try of the game uh, dodgy grubber there but luckily our teammate can actually defend this time so mm, diving yes uh, always a fan of the low diving tackle Seems to stop people more often than not. I'm unsure if you can actually step out of the road or fend off a low diving tackle. So it's always sort of, you know, a last resort or if they're too far away, you can still catch them. As you'll see for once, it's not me lying on the ground in pain, but actually one of our, um, the Titans teammates is the nifty wrap around there and I offload trying to get some extra meters for our team. So uh, yeah, just past the 40 again, always putting in this work, it's uh, almost a forward pass by the dummy half there. I still don't understand why they won't pass to me, but it is what it is. Uh, 
all of these plays, I'm just making plays. I hope the coach can see this and actually get put into a NRL team, hopefully. Uh, he should have scored a try there. He should have backed himself and headed for the corner post or fended or stepped or play something as the defence opened up there and I shouldn't have passed. I know, but saying that, if I had held on to it, more than likely the defence would have come across and covered me. There's a, yeah, cheeky field goal there just to put us, you know, seven points in front. So a converted try won't tie up the game for them. So once again, more offloading and decent runs by me. Um, yeah, become a common thing for me now. Uh, in my mind, going for a field goal if we're about, this tackle about 30, 20 metres out. You know, grubber kicks don't really work for me too much. Hitting a field goal gets you that point. Puts you in front. You're on like the leading foot. Then you get the ball from kickoff again. So you get the extra 60 on your end to try and get back up there and make something happen. As we're actually getting off the scrum here and not quick enough, unfortunately, to outrun that defender there and hit that open gap. But yeah, episode's coming up to an end here, fellas. Um, you can see the defence split, as I was talking about earlier, near the play the ball there, so I'm always looking for that sort of gap to run through, and yeah, hopefully in the next couple of episodes I'll get some more experience points, up me speed, and we'll see where we go from there. As 80th minute, call for the ball, you know what it is, another field goal, and uh, yeah, ending episode, 8-0, man of the match, see you next time.